Hey, hey, hey. All right, today. Today is truly Taco Tuesday. Basically, um, what I do, y'all, um, I take on Sundays. I make all my meats and everything on Sundays for me and my family. And then whatever we need during the week, we just add to it. You know, I have like a sandwich night or pizza night. So everything you see me cooking like on a Sunday, which I rarely show cooking because, you know, it's not about a cooking show. But if I do show you that, just know that the things that I make on a Sunday, I make me and my family about four or five different things, meats per se. And then what we do, we all just come in and during the week, if you want pizza, if you want soul food, if you want tacos, whatever, the stuff is there. You know, we just help ourselves. So, today is Taco Tuesday, and I actually did uh, something different. I don't know if you want to try this or not. I've never tried it, but I tried it tonight. I made a big pot of Rotel. And for anyone that may not know what Rotel is, you know, it's just ground beef, a can of uh, Rotel tomatoes, pecan sauce, lemon juice, and then you serve it over like your uh, tortillas. You can serve it with whatever. Like tonight, well, I do have some tortillas, but that's for something else. Meaning like my hard chips in the back. But tonight I had something else different. So I made the uh, Rotel salsa. Use some butter. Tortillas. That's why tortillas on my mind. And basically, what I'm going to have tonight. I don't know what they're going to have. Because like I said, everybody have, you know, like I said, I make like homemade pizzas and soul food and Chinese food and you name it, I make it. Because I do enjoy cooking. And um, everybody can get in there. Add my lemon juice. Yeah, I love lemon juice and cilantro and extra peppers. I can't help it. I can't help it. I like extra spicy. But anyways, I added me some on some, these are butter tortillas. I got it from Kroger's. And um, I made some Rotel so everybody can make them like some nachos tonight or whatever. But I'm having butter tacos. And I did buy this shredded lettuce. I normally shred my own lettuce, but the last times I bought lettuce in two days, the lettuce was dead. And I think it's because, um, you know, I have been managing my AC, meaning that I can't afford to turn it up. And I read online that it says if your um, if your uh, AC is is turned down, that your electronic or your refrigerator devices or whatever won't keep the temperature. And I think that's what happened because everything I bought, like as far as lettuce and things like that, like even my tomatoes and stuff, it was like mm, they went bad really quick. So I I had to basically go out and buy stuff quickly and serve it quickly like same day type of thing that's why if you saw like a whole bunch of um youtube videos coming up that's because the stuff i bought from my refrigerator my vegetable tray zucchini and lettuce and tomato that stuff was spoiling so i had to go on and cook it out but what i'm having tonight for my personal plate is um not your Rotel Tacos. Like I said, I ain't never tried that before. But because I made it, I'm going to try it. I love tomatoes. Hold on, y'all. I love tomatoes. And I love peppers. Nema juice. Hot sauce. Lettuce. All that stuff. Basically the same thing. You know, you put you in a salad or whatever. And what I do, I just cut it up in a small bowl. A little small tray. Simple, easy. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I'm put a little bit of picante sauce. There's a difference in salsa. And picante sauce. Now, you know I love my green salsa verde. Anything where I can make tomatillo salsa. But sometimes you got to get the store bought. So, I'm using the Kroger's medium picante sauce. It's not like salsa. Picante sauce is different. 
so I'm gonna put a little bit on there. Not too much, because if you don't go on and eat it, mm, you have something soggy on your hand. But if you eat it while it's fresh, ooh, that smells so good, though. I will tell you, though, Cargos has the best picante sauce. Very, very good. Tastes fresh. So, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and take this lettuce since the lettuce ain't lasting. Mmm, I love tomatoes. I'm going to put this lettuce up. Don't put that up. Make sure you no know, air. Put this lemon juice up. And pecan salsa. Okay, um, well, we thank you, Lord, for the food you have provided us once again. Press down and shaking together, running over. Lord, right now we pray for the people in Afghanistan with the earthquake. Lord, we pray for the people in Israel going through the turmoil. May you fix it, Lord. And may you fix it on our home grounds, Lord. To God be the glory. Help our children, help our families, help our souls. We love you, Lord. But please help everyone, Lord, when we take things for granted. May we not take things for granted. May we not take anything for granted. Because people are living in perilous times, Lord. Where they can't even lay their heads down. For an instant. And I have to say this Lord. I watched the news this morning. One person said. You know with the. Um, Lord have mercy. Israel bombing. And the attack. He said. It comes at all times of the night. By the time you lay your head down. Morning, noon, night. God have mercy. Midnight hour. Jesus Christ. I don't even want to. I can't handle that. I've been through death and grief very recently. And I cannot imagine you laying there. And I do want you to watch the news because one of the people said that uh, his dad and mom, which are probably about my age, you know, almost 60 years old, and that the people broke up in there on them during this uh, Israeli attack. Um, and... That the only way they survived was because the mom was cooking. And I can resonate with that. Just like I'm up cooking right now. Like I normally do for me and my family. He said they got up and was cooking for them. And that's the only thing that saved their lives. To God be the glory is all I can say. Y'all let's pray for everybody. We can sit up here every day and complain about our everyday things that's going on. Mm-mm. Lord have mercy. To God be the glory. May we pray for all our brothers and sisters. I'm going to take a bite of this taco. Kind of not hungry after I talked about that. I told you I have a sens sensitivity to, to that. Death and anyone going through that. But I'm going to try to take a bite of this taco. Simple and easy. Alright, let's go for it. Mmm. Okay. That's pretty good. I don't know why every time you make a taco, everything gotta fall out. Mm-mm. I'm gonna take another bite though. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Okay. Mm-hmm. Glad we could. Good night.